For a look at the news from around the world, we now turn to our Matthew Ashley standing by at the Arirang News Center. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning, Tommy. All right, let's start in Brazil, where hundreds of people have been arrested following the storming of Brazil's Congress, an event that's been compared to the January 6 insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Well, that's right. Around 1,500 people have been taken into custody so far, and this comes after supporters of former President Jair Bolsonaro broke through security barriers and entered buildings linked to all three branches of the country's government in Brasilia. Now, a majority of those arrested were detained on Monday at a pro-Bolsonaro encampment outside the country's military headquarters. On the same day, a letter signed by Brazilian President Lula da Silva and the heads of the Supreme Court, Senate and Lower House denounced acts of terrorism and vandalism and vowed to take legal action. Now, the writing came a week after leftist President Lula da Silva was sworn into office. Tensions had been brewing since Bolsonaro lost the October 30th presidential runoff election and has refused to concede defeat.